chapter 1 number system in this chapter we are dealing with different kinds of numbers the first one is natural number which you are learning from lower classes that is the numbers which start with 1 2 3 4 etc sentence repeat yana natural numbers are numbers which we are using for counting that means 1 2 3 etc are known as natural numbers and the collection of this natural numbers we can represent by n natural numbers are numbers which we are using for counting 1 2 3 etc and the collection of num natural numbers is noted by the symbol capital n then whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And the collection of this is represented by the symbol W. The collection of whole numbers is represented by W. Next is integers. Integers means positive numbers, negative numbers and 0 minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So, positive and negative numbers together with 0 is known as integers. We can use this symbol to represent the collection of integers. Then, rational numbers. Rational numbers means the numbers that can be written in the form P by Q were P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. Rational numbers means numbers that can be written in the form P by Q were P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. That means the numbers that can be written as a fraction. The collection of rational numbers is denoted by the symbol Q. The collection of rational numbers is denoted by the symbol Q. So, rational numbers includes natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Rational numbers includes natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. Example 1, are the following statements true or false? The first one is every whole number is a natural number. Whole number means 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. Natural numbers means 1, 2, 3 etc. So, 0 is not including in this. So, this statement is wrong. This is not correct because 0 is not including in the natural number. So, every whole number is a natural number is a wrong statement. Second one is every integer is a rational number. Every integer. Integer means positive numbers, negative numbers and 0. But we have to check us whether we can write this in the form P by Q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0. So, p by q form every integer that means minus 2, minus 3 etc. we can write as minus 2 by 1, minus 3 by 1 etc. and 0 also we can write as 0 by 1, 1 we can write as 1 by 1. So, this statement is correct. Every rational number is an integer. Rational number means it is of a form of a fraction. So, is it an integer? If you have a number like this 2 by 5, it is not an integer. So, we can say the statement is wrong. Every natural rational number is not an integer. Then the example 2, find 5 rational numbers between 1 and 2. 1 and 2. You have already learned this in 7th standard and 8th standard. So, for writing it as a rational number, we need a denominator. 
if the denominator is bigger we can find so many numbers in between so what i am going to make us i am going to make a denominator here 1 i am writing as 1 by 1 2 i am writing as 2 by 1 so i am going to multiply this with 15 so it is 15 by 15 and 30 by 15 so we can write 16 by 15 17 by 15 18 by 15 19 by 15 and so on you can write up to 29 by 15 so the denominator is bigger we can find more number of uh, terms in between next is exercise 1.1 1 .1. first question a 0 a rational number can you write in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 0 we can write as 0 by 1 so it is a rational number so 0 is a rational number fourth question state whether the following statements are true or false give reason every natural number is a whole number so natural numbers means 1 2 3 etc all these are whole numbers so the statement is correct every natural number is a whole number second one is every integer is a whole number so suppose minus 2 minus 1 etc it is not a whole number whole number means only positive numbers are there so every integer is not a whole number then the third one is every rational number is a whole number the natural the rational number of the form 2 by 5 is not a whole number so we can't say like this so it is the statement is wrong every rational number is not a whole number homework exercise 1.1 1 .1, 2 and 3